Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss very important aspect of how society makes us human. While to understand that how society makes us human, it is important to discuss that what happens to those children who are kept in isolation and who do not pass through the normal process of socialization. So isolated children are children who have been raised in extreme social isolation. It is not that they do not have any contact at all with the, with the human beings, however very limited contact with the human beings. So examples of these isolated children include uh, a girl Anna, she was from Pennsylvania, she was born in 1932 since she was an illegitimate child of her parents. So she, that's why she was kept in isolation in a dark room for most of her life. She, she, uh, she born in 1932 and she died in 1942, uh, just at the age of 10 years. And then the case of uh, Australian Frizzle family, uh, where the father kept his daughter uh, locked up in the basement for almost 24 years. So these were uh, considered very extreme cases where children were uh, kept in isolation, they were not normally being socialized, and they were unable to behave like other normal human beings so these though so they were lacking those basic so, social skills as well as the basic language structures and they were even some of them were even unable to move their all all of their body muscles so in pakistan we find the very rare cases such rare cases of children being kept in extreme isolation however it's not that it's a, uh, such cases do not exist uh, such cases may exist, but uh, how these cases are reflected or being reported in media is also questionable. So the study of isolated children provides uh, very deep insights into the importance of the socialization process and the impact of extreme social isolation on human development. So hota ye hai ke is tarah ke jo isolated cases hote hain, unme amuman uh, un bachon ko uh, ek, ek tarah se uh, non-human beings ki tarah, animals ki tarah treat kiya jata hai aur unki basic language structures choke develop nahi ho paate hain is tarah is wajah se unki communication possible nahi hoti hai wo bohut kam isharo ke naayon mein kisi hat tak baat kar sakte hain unko uh, khana jo diya jata hai wo bhi is tarah se diya jata hai ki they are later on they consider they are considered extremely malnourished aur jismani taur pe bahut zyada kamzor hote hain zehni taur pe bahut zyada kamzor hote hain aur ye overall ye sari cheeze jo reflect karti hain ki how important is the socialization process and how important is the human contact how important is that human beings should be socialized within the context of almost all the social institutions this is family important social institution hai peer group important social institution hai isi tarah se school hai aur phir uske baad larger society hai to ye sare social groups milke insaan ko jo hai ek uh, socialized being uh, banati hain isolated children often suffer from developmental delays and lack of basic social skills and also they also demonstrate the impact of environmental factors on our uh, human development so environmental factors se murad ye hai ki jab unko fresh air nahi milegi jab unko external environment nahi milega to ho sakta hai ki after a certain time period darkness se jab unko light ke upar leke aaya jaye light mein leke aaya jaye to maybe it would have a severe effect on their eyesight और क्योंकि हमारी आईसाइट जो है ये भी ग्रेजुअली ट्रेन होती है जैसे आपकी बाकी फिजिकल मसल्स हैं या आपके बाकी जिस्म के बाकी अजा हैं तो वो सारे ग्रेजुअल प्रोसेस के जरिए ट्रेन होते हैं सोशलाइज होते हैं इसी तरह से इंसान का ब्रेन है या माइंड है इंटेलेक्ट है जो ग्रेजुअली डेवलप होती है ऑन द होल आइसोलेटेड चिल्ड्रन है इट गिव्स अस इट गिव्स अस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ सोसाइटी मेक्स अस ह्यूमन